Hi there, good morning. Well, how are you this morning? I hope you're all really well again today. Well, I remember our two children. They'd come down on Christmas morning and they had absolutely no doubt in their minds, their little minds, that Father Christmas would have been through the night and left them gifts for their Christmas morning. Well, imagine if you and I could be the same, where we just had absolutely no doubt in our minds that our God was going to turn up exactly when we needed Him. Well, there's a beautiful verse I want to read to you today, and it's in uh, Isaiah 40, verse 29, and it says, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Wow! He strengthens us. And then in Isaiah 12 verse 2, it says, See, God has come to save me. I will trust in him and I will not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song and he has given me the victory. I love that. His strength rises up in us as we give him the praise that he deserves. Uh, Are you getting maybe some opposition at this time? Maybe you're feeling challenged. Maybe you're feeling attacked or confronted by a situation that you are facing at this time. Well, the Bible tells us that childlike worship will silence this opposition. You know, worship is not just that slow song that we sing or the tithes that we bring to church on a Sunday and we put into the offering basket. um, Or maybe if we help out in the Sunday school. These are all expressions of worship. But you know, true worship is defined by the priority that you and I place on who God is in our lives and where God is on the list of our priorities. We worship God because He is God. Uh, It's a matter of the heart expressed through a, a lifestyle of holiness towards our Father. Isaiah 29 verse 13 tells us that, And so the Lord said, These people say they are mine. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And the worship of me is nothing but man-made rules learned by root. Wow. So I want to say to you today to choose to soften your heart before God. Worship God from a full heart of love towards him, full of adoration, full of praise um, for what an amazing and an awesome God we serve. Just what a what a wonderful God he is. Be expectant today, knowing that he will meet you exactly where you are. You are greatly loved today by this almighty and all-powerful God. And today he deserves your true felt worship and adoration today. So have a blessed day, have an encouraged day, and we'll chat again soon. God bless. Bye-bye.